So here we are talking about tapping and if you were like me, I was wondering about what those points were connected to and what was really going on when I was tapping on those points. So my name is Shelley Tomlin and I'm super glad that you're here because you're going to learn some really cool things. Because when I was being introduced to tapping, I was wondering, well, I keep hearing they're attached to acupuncture points, but what are those points and what was really going on? Because I wanted to know, how is it really benefiting me? What was I getting? What was being released? And what was being allowed when I tapped on those points? So that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. So I hope you guys find it super helpful. So the first point that we're going to talk about, and I encourage you to tap along with me. So we have the karate chop point. So the karate chop point is connected to the small intestine meridian of acupuncture or Chinese medicine. So when you tap on this point, it releases resistance to change, worry, and feeling, feeling vulnerability. When you tap on this point, it allows for the ability to move forward, letting go of the past and old stuff, and it connects us to the very present moment. Then we have the eyebrow point, which is connected to the bladder meridian. So when you tap on this point, you release trauma, hurt, and frustration. Tapping on this point allows for peace and emotional healing. Then we have side of the eye. Side of the eye is connected to the gallbladder meridian. So when you tap on this point, it releases anger, fear of change, and muddled thinking. Tapping on this point allows for clarity and compassion. Then we have under the eye, which is connected to the stomach meridian. So tapping on this point releases anxiety, emptiness, and nervousness. Tapping on this point allows for calmness and feeling safe. Then we have under the nose, which is connected to the governing meridian. So tapping on this point releases shame, fear of failure, and powerlessness. Tapping on this point allows for compassion for self and others and self-empowerment. Then we have our chin point which is connected to the central meridian. So tapping on this point releases confusion, second guessing, and embarrassment. Tapping on this point allows for confidence, self-acceptance, and certainty. Then we have the favorite collarbone point which is connected to the kidney meridian. And a lot of people love tapping on this point. And tapping on this point releases general stress. So no wonder a lot of people love tapping on it. So it releases general stress, feeling stuck, and indecision. This is one of my favorite points. So tapping on this point allows for ease in moving forward, confidence, and clarity. And then we have under the arm, which is connected to the spleen meridian. So tapping under the arm releases poor self-esteem, insecurity, and hopelessness. Tapping on this point allows for relaxation and compassion for others. And then we have top of the head, and this is where all the meridians meet. So tapping on this point releases the inner critic, the gerbil wheel, and lack of focus. Tapping on this point allows for insight, focus, and clarity. So I hope you find, found that helpful for you. And maybe that will make you connect with tapping even more. And maybe you'll be more inclined to bring tapping into your life in some way, shape, or form. Now, I encourage you to keep in touch. You can follow me on Facebook, Shelly Tomlin, Success Coach, EFT Expert. Or you can find me on my website, youaremeanttoshine.com, or shoot me an email, shelly at youaremeanttoshine.com. And let's keep in touch and bring tapping in. And let's just tap it up, guys, because we know it's going to be super good for us.